Howdy partner. So you wanna learn how to grill the world's best chicken? Well, you're in luck, we're gonna show you today. Today, we're gonna to walk you through how to grill the best chicken you've ever eaten and also how to make the best marinade in the world. The other day we were having a barbecue, normal food, hot dogs, hamburgers, and I had some chicken marinating. I said, oh, why not? I'll throw this on the grill, grilled up some chicken kibasa for everybody. And don't you know it, they all love the chicken more than anything else. And I had a bunch of people approach me and saying, Mr. Greg, this chicken changed my life. And I said, whoa, 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 calm down. I know it's good, I don't know if it's that good. And they all swore it was, and they asked for the recipe. So today, we're gonna show you that recipe. If you like this food, please go ahead and hit that like button. And also, at the bottom of your screen, please subscribe to my channel, because when you subscribe, it keeps these videos coming. I also wanna hear comments. If you make this chicken recipe, and it is or is not the best chicken you've ever had, please put that on the comments, because I'll bet this is the world's best chicken. So first, we'll talk about how we're gonna make it. We are using boneless, skinless chicken thighs. We can use any type of chicken. You could use white meat breast, you can use chicken thighs. It really doesn't matter, but I like the dark meat. Um, it really stays nice and juicy, and that's probably what we're gonna do today. But I've also done it with white meat. I've done the same marinade with steaks, with fish, with anything else, and it works for everything. So you wanna start by prepping your meat. If you have the boneless, skinless chicken thigh and you got some big areas of fat like that, you can go ahead and cut off those fat pieces. And you can leave a little bit of fat, but just not the whole piece. Then, it depends if you wanna grill it whole or if you wanna make uh, kebabs out of it. So we're gonna make kebabs. So we're gonna cut these into pieces, I don't know, you know, a couple inches a piece. And if they're like this and you just wanna fold them over, that's fine too. You can go ahead and just fold those over. We'll cut some, we'll fold some over and get all ready. Now this is eight boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I figure about probably at least two thighs per person. When you're having the world's best chicken, people are gonna eat. They're gonna eat probably twice as much as normally do. So I did eight. Now, if you're doing white meat breasts, they'd be about that thick. And what I would recommend you do is you go ahead and butterfly them, cut here, and then kind of open them up and butterfly them. That way, the food that you're cooking on the grill isn't super thick, so it's gonna stay nice and juicy. It's gonna be easier to cook, and also, What's gonna happen is wherever you cut is gonna allow that marinade to really seep in. So I always like to prep this before I marinate it. You can prep it with the marinade and cut it after if it's gonna be a sloppy mess and I'd rather not do that. The other thing you're gonna need is garlic cloves. If you don't already know how, when you take a garlic clove, if you don't buy the ones that already cut up, you just take that, lay your knife across it, be careful not to cut yourself, and give it a nice tap. And when you do that, it'll make the skin of the clove fall right off. So you'll go ahead and you'll just get the nice garlic in the middle. It doesn't take much work. And then what you can do is you can just rough chop it for this recipe. It does not need to be super finely chopped. So you go ahead and you do that. Now, the proportions for this recipe are gonna be, I like to put it in a Ziploc bag for a nice good marinade. So first, I'm gonna put all the chicken in there. Again, this is eight boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I'm also gonna keep two whole, just cause I want a couple of whole that aren't on a kebab. Then we're gonna do equal parts of a quarter cup orange juice, one quarter cup of soy sauce, one quarter cup of balsamic vinegar, and then a double part of olive oil. So we've got equal parts, quarter cup of soy sauce, balsamic vinegar, and orange juice, and then a half a cup, if I didn't say that right the first time, half a cup of olive oil. This is kind of international marinade. We've got Mediterranean flavors. We have Italian that we're gonna add. We have South American, um, just a, a ton of different flavors going on in here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and add in some Asian as well. Sorry, with soy sauce. So you're gonna add in the garlic. For the garlic cloves, I like to do one clove for every one to two chicken thighs. So this was eight thighs. I did six cloves, but that's really the personal preference. This is not an exact science. You know, you can play with this a little bit. Then we're gonna add in one tablespoon of basil. You can use fresh if you want, probably better. That's dried. One tablespoon of oregano, a teaspoon of black pepper, and a teaspoon of salt. You don't need much salt because that soy sauce is high in salt. So once you've gotten everything added in here, you want to go ahead and give it a nice mix. And once you've got it all mixed up, 
just put this in the refrigerator and we'll let this delicious chicken marinate. It's best done overnight, but if you do it for at least a few hours, it'll turn out great. Stay tuned, we'll get to grilling soon. All right, well we've let them all marinate and let that juices get right into that chicken. So now we're making the kebabs. I'm using short kebab rods, sticks, and basically you wanna take the stick and you wanna soak it in water for 15 or 20 minutes. And then you're just gonna go ahead and you can either do one hole or two holes. You just wanna tightly push this on here. This is just a really tasty way to eat this chicken. Now a couple things to note about this marinade is the orange juice acts almost like a tenderizer. So if you use a little too much, it'll actually, the citric acid will start to kind of cook it a little bit. Um, also the oil will thicken up if you sit it overnight, which is a good thing. So if you're gonna do it on a quick marinade, I'd use a little less of the olive oil because uh, over time it kind of thickens up and starts to uh, kind of help the meat to coagulate a little bit. So this is where we got, we have our two whole chicken thighs as well as eight kebabs. So now we're gonna get into the actual grilling. You wanna get your grill really, really hot. So we're at almost 600 degrees, and you're gonna turn it down to a medium or medium low. Now we got some thunder coming, so we're gonna to try to hurry up out here, but typical afternoon thunder showers in Florida. So right here, this is really hot. You wanna get a good sear on your meat. You wanna oil up these grates, which we've already done, so that they go ahead and don't stick. And then you wanna just Sit everything on top. We'll come over here and watch. Go ahead and sit those on. And we're gonna let it sit here for a couple minutes so they get a nice good sear on the top of these. If you start to have the flames coming up and really catching fire, you can turn that heat down a little bit because we don't want it to get charred. We just want it to have a nice sear. So stand by for just a couple seconds and I'll show you what it looks like when we flip it. So we've let that chicken cook there for just a couple minutes. And when it starts to change color slightly is when you wanna go ahead and flip it. Now, what we've done is we've created good grill marks by doing it that way. And if you wanna go ahead and crisscross those grill marks, you wanna turn about 25 or 25%, 25 90 degrees, and put on a fresh part of the grill. So we're gonna go ahead and see them over that way. And you wanna go perpendicular to those grill marks. The other thing is, if you look on top, I dumped the rest of the marinade and those garlic pieces on top of these kebabs. So what that's gonna do is that's gonna go ahead and let that garlic just kind of roast into it and make it really, really delicious. So we're gonna go ahead and turn these. When you're cooking beef, cheeseburger, hamburger, steaks, you don't wanna turn them too much, but with chicken, it's not really a problem if you turn them more than once. So we're gonna turn these probably three or four times before we're done and stand by. We wanna get that nice chard on every piece of the meat. So the meat's been cooking for about five minutes now. I went ahead and covered it up. I've moved it around a couple times because of the hot spots on the grill. These individual thighs, they're gonna be done. And then we just wanna get an even char on all four sides of these kebabs. Those little flare-ups are okay. You wanna go about as hot as you can while minimizing the flare-ups. And just keep turning these to let the oils go ahead and coat the entire chicken, caramelize that garlic a little bit. One safe bet is you can take a knife and you can go ahead and cut in the thickest part of those uh, chicken thighs and you can just make sure it's done, which that one's done. We got nice grill marks on that, looking delicious. Also, if you like this setup we have, this is our outdoor kitchen, you can go ahead and check that out in some of our videos, as well as our pergola build, to go ahead and check out this whole setup that we have out here, which is really handy for this grilling. We just checked this chicken again, and it wasn't quite done, but one of the things that makes this the world's best chicken is if you use our marinade, as we explained, and also you cook boneless, skinless chicken thighs, and you keep the heat at medium, medium high, you're gonna be hard pressed to dry this out. This is gonna be delicious, juicy chicken. Even if you're a beginner or a seasoned griller alike, this is gonna give you an awesome, awesome result. Also, we talk about soaking the kebab rods. That's why here, they're not burned. And then some drier parts, they're kind of burned, but we don't wanna burn those up. So make sure to soak those and then just keep cooking. If you're not sure, cut it a couple times, check it out. 
but you will not dry this out. We're gonna take it off in just a minute. It's been about, I don't know, 10 minutes. Little last minute trick, if you've cooked through, but you still don't like the char on the outside, it's a little light meat, go ahead and turn it up for that last minute or two and let it really char it. Now these are all done. You want to have a nice solid complexion like that to where it's nice and feels like one nice piece of meat. Everything there has a nice caramelization on it. We're all cooked through. It's absolutely juicy and delicious. So let me just take these and place them onto our plate and then we'll bite into them in just a second. All right, we are all done. We got it off the grill and I'll tell you, this looks like the world's best grilled chicken. Every time I have this, I think it's better than time before. We've got perfect sear there. We went ahead and we got the garlic all car caramelized, all the marinades there. Now I'm gonna try it with one bite, just to see. Oh, that is awesome. Go ahead, hit the like button, comment if you try this, and I challenge you to say that this is not the best chicken you've ever had. Thanks for watching, and I'll get back with you later. Please, any questions or comments you have, look forward to hearing from you. Hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Time to eat the rest of this.